Hello everyone, I'm teacher Jeremy from Think Teach Academy and you are watching my masterclass on problem sums. In this video, I will be teaching you our EMS technique to tackle substitution problem sums. Let me explain to you the easy to remember steps and what to look out for in substitution questions. You will also get to see how this technique can be applied to a 2014 PSLE question. I do hope you find our tips useful and easy to apply. Okay, so here we go. Notice the keywords in both questions. The two items in both questions are proportionate to each other. 1 kg of cherries costs as much as 1.5 kg of peaches in the first question and 3 large stars is the same as that of small, 4 small stars. Right. In Think Teach, we have a consistent approach to tackling such questions. When we see more than one variable and when both items are proportionate to each other, we will identify it as a substitution question type. Once we have identified it as a substitution question, we will then apply our EMS approach, which stands for Equate, Multiply and Substitute. Let me show you how you can apply the techniques in the next few slides. This is a P5 Taunan 2018 question that is worth 3 marks. When I see more than one item, which in this case is cherries and peaches, and both items are proportionate to each other, I will identify it as a substitution question type. To help our students tackle such question, there will be three steps in our EMS framework to solving math substitution questions, and you can see them in the right corner of the slide. The first step is to equate. You will be required to use information from the question to form two equations, each containing the two items. The second step will be to multiply, where one of the items needs to be made the same by means of multiplying either one or both of the equations. The third step is to substitute. We will then substitute one item for another item so that you will end up with an equation with a single item instead of two different items. Let's apply the three steps to this question. First, form the two equations. Since 1 kg of cherries costs as much as 1.5 kg of peaches, we can write 1c equals to 1.5p, where c refers to the cherries and p refers to the peaches. Mrs. Lee also spent $54 on 2.5 kg of cherries and 3 kg of peaches. So we can write that 2.5c plus 3p is $54. Second, we multiply. Since in the second equation, we have 2.5c and 3p, we have to decide whether we want to change everything to cherries or change everything to peaches. Since we have 1c equals to 1.5p, it is easier for us to multiply the equation by 2 so that we can get 2c equals to 3p. Why do we want 3p? Right, it is because the second equation also has 3p. So this allows us to multiply only to one of the equations. And we can then substitute the cherries with peaches. Lastly, we substitute. Right, since we have 2 kg of cherries is equivalent to 3 kg of peaches, we can then substitute the peaches in 2.5c plus 3p into 2.5c plus 2c, which is $54. We now get 4.5 kg of cherries to be $54 and knowing that, we can then find that 1 kg of cherries will be $12. The moment we are able to find that 1 kg of cherries is $12, we can then find the price of 1 kg of peaches. Right? Thus, using the first sentence of the question where 1.5 kg of peaches is equal to 1 kg of cherries, 1.5 kg of peaches must be equal to $12. Thus, to find 1 kg of peaches, we we'll just need to take $12 divided by 1.5 which gives us $8 for 1 kg of peaches. So with that, you will have got the final answer for the question. Now, we have here a PSLE question of the same question type. This appeared in 2014 and similarly, it requires us to use the same EMS technique to solve because as again, we see more than one item 
which in this case will be large and small stars and both items are proportionate to each other. For part A, the question asks how many large stars can be made with the same length of wire used to make 12 small stars. Let's see how we can also apply the equate, multiply and substitute technique to solve this question. First, let us form two equations. Since she has made 12 small and 7 large stars with 960 cm of wire, we can write that 12S plus 7L is equals to 960. And since the length of the wire for 3 large stars is equivalent to the length required for 4 small stars, we can then write that 3L is equals to 4S. Next, we multiply. Since the question is asking for the number of large stars that can be made with the same length of wire used to make 12 small stars, we can then multiply 3L equals 4S by 3. And since you multiply 3L by 3, you need to multiply 4S by 3. Thus, it can then be determined that the wire required for 12 small stars can also be used to make 9 large stars. And that will be your answer for part A. For part B, the question requires you to find the length of wire required to make the remaining stars. So recall that earlier on in the equation, we had 12 small plus 7 large, which is equals to 960 centimeters. And in the previous multiply step, we obtained that 9 large is equals to 12 small. So the third step will be to substitute 9L equals to 12 small into the equation such that all are large stars. Right, so we then substitute 12s to become 9 large in the second step and therefore we will know that 16 large stars will require 960 cm of wire. Once we have that, you can then find the length of wire required for one large star which is to take 960 centimeters divided by 16 right, which will give you 60 centimeters for one large star. Once we know the length of one large star, we can then go on to find the length of wire required for one small star. Right, so using the answer in part A, where 9 large stars equals to 12 small stars, we then know that 9 large stars will require 540 centimeters of wire. At the same time, 12 small stars will also require 540 centimeters of wire. Thus, we can then find out that one small star will require 540 divided by 12, which gives 45 centimeters for one small star. Right? Since she has already made 12 small and 7 large, we will then need to find out that she has to make another 2 small and 13 large. Right? Since we already know the length of one large length of wire required for one large star and the length of wire required for one small star, we can then find the total length of wire for two small stars and 13 large stars, which will then give us a total of 870 centimeters. And that's it. We have come to the end of my video and how to apply our EMS approach on substitution question types. Do try them out in your next exam. For more of such useful techniques, please subscribe to our Think Teach Academy channel on YouTube and watch all our videos. We will also be making and uploading more of such useful videos and we look forward to seeing you guys for lessons at our centres or online. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye!